VHD consoles have joined the world of motion-based gaming. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today Microsoft's Kinect will throw it down against Sony's Move to see which is the better control device. Number 1. The Hardware the Xbox 360's Kinect is a controller-free gaming and entertainment experience that uses a camera, microphone, and depth sensor. It allows play through spoken commands and gesture detection that tracks the entire body. Meanwhile, the PlayStation Move relies on the combination of internal sensors and the eye camera to track the wand's position through its glowing orb, and makes use of a secondary navigation controller. Both are equally promising, but the Kinect brings an entirely new and exciting approach to motion gaming. So the first point goes to Microsoft's device for originality. Number 2. Control Precision the PlayStation Eye and Motion Controller is a killer combination for accurate and highly responsive motion-based gameplay detection. On the other hand, Kinect reacts slightly slower with a noticeable lag and requires you to adapt to its timing-based learning curve. In terms of precision, this point goes to the Move for its controller-based approach, which provides immediate pixel-perfect feedback on screen. Number 3. The Cost if you own an Xbox 360, expect to pay another $150 for the Kinect add-on, which comes with the game Kinect Adventures. If you already own a PlayStation 3 console, it costs about $100 for the Move Sports Champions bundle, which comes with the PlayStation I, a Move motion controller, and a copy of Sports Champions. As a single-player affair, the Move beats Kinect. That being said, due to the overall cost of additional move wands and navigation controllers, Microsoft's offering is easily the far cheaper option for the family. Winner, Connect. Number 4. Ease of Use In this category, both have their drawbacks. For the move, you need space for it to operate correctly, and Sony recommends 5 to 9 feet between the player and the PlayStation Eye for it to monitor your full range of motions. On the other hand, there is a slightly greater spatial requirement for the Kinect. The Move allows you to play in dark lighting conditions while sitting down. However, Kinect does not require constant calibration and can monitor up to two primary and four additional players simultaneously without picking up and adjusting controllers. In fact, Kinect's tracking functionality allows the device to pivot itself through motors to keep the user in the frame automatically. Seeing as the intended audience isn't the hardcore or couch potato crowd, we have to give this point to the Kinect for its crowd-friendly experience, despite its requirement for large, empty spaces. Number 5. Launch Games Quality While the Move launched with 17 titles, most of which are excellent, the Kinect has had a bumpier start with half a dozen titles, some of which have been especially shabby. While the game selection will no doubt increase and get better, as of launch, the clear winner is Move. By a score of 3 to 2, the Kinect just narrowly takes the lead for its overall cheaper cost and for completely reinventing gesture-based gameplay, which finally takes the plastic out of your hands and makes you the controller. 